So if you're watching this as a potential tourist, this is some of the stuff you can expect to get thrown at you while you are watching the parade. Hi everybody. If you're new here, I would love it if you would subscribe. If you like this video, click the thumbs up. Um, if you don't, then, you know, don't, whatever, that's fine. Um, so you might have seen on Sunday, I did a sort of day in the life, um, illustrating the local parades that we have here around the carnival pre-Lenten uh, season. This is unusual because I generally only release videos on Sundays, but I really wanted to get this video out too. This was my initial plan for Sunday's video and I realized I just had way too much fun footage to make this all one video. Uh, so I wanted to just make this quick video on the side. On Sunday you saw the parades and you probably saw shots of people throwing things from the floats. Unlike New Orleans and Mardi Gras, they're not just throwing out cheap plastic beads that are completely useless. They throw out a lot of different things and some of them are really strange. First, I'm gonna show you what we got from the Mainz Parade, since that is the bigger parade and the one that tourists are more likely to go to. In contrast, then I'm going to show you what we got from our local parade, uh, because there are some similarities, there are some very big differences, and uh, I just wanted to kind of show you how strange life can be. So, um, without further ado, Let's get into the Mainz Parade Hall. Okay, so here's what we got from Mainz. Okay, so as you can see, there is quite an assortment of really interesting stuff. Most of it is edible, I'd like to point out. This is mostly just things that we physically caught. Uh, you, you will see people locally diving to the ground, scrambling for the various items that are available. Um, so as you can see, this is quite a pile of stuff. Uh, there tends to be mostly snack foods, things like popcorn and candy bars, which is awesome. So let's go through this and see what we've got. So first, we have this giant ball. I can't remember if the footage made it into Sunday's video, but this actually got thrown at me while I was filming, and somehow I managed to catch it and not slam the baby in the face. So next thing, this is probably the most common thing that you'll get at the parades, any local parade that I've been to. I think probably because it's just really cheap, and that is small bags of popcorn. Popcorn. Another thing that we seem to have gotten a lot of this year are balls. 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 Um, you saw the big silver ball, ball pit balls, stress balls, all kinds of balls. Balls, balls, balls. So the next thing I wanted to show you are these little snacks called Erdnuss flips, which means peanut flips. Imagine the texture of a puffy Cheeto but instead of cheese powder, they're covered in peanut powder. Okay. The next probably most common thing, small packs of tissues. Shower gel. More tissues. Germany soccer keychains. Potato chips. Pizza crackers. Some sort of generic Oreo. I got hit in the shoulder with this. This was fun. Um, I'm just standing standing there watching the parade and something really hard hit me in the shoulder. And I looked all around and I couldn't figure out what it was. And then later my husband came up to me and was talking and looking around on the ground and saw this. And I realized that this is what hit me in the shoulder earlier, like five minutes earlier. That is a bar of Dove soap. I can't explain any of this. Crunchy onion rings. Um, I don't think I've ever actually tried these. I would imagine that they are like uh, Funyuns. Cookie gummies of all shapes and sizes from all different places. Gummies, gummies, more tissues. Gummies, gummies, gummies. Gummies from the city of Mainz. Gummies from other companies. Haribo. Every kind of gummy you can imagine. Gummy 
bears, gummy circles, gummy worms, sour gummies, sweet gummies. This I think I got more of than anything else. Milky Way, Snickers, Mars Bars, Bounty, uh, Crispy Bits, Snickers, Mars, Snickers, Mars, Snickers. The Snickers here somehow are so much better than Snickers in the States. I don't know why, but oh my God, they're so much better. Cookies and cookie candy bars. I mean, if you think about it, it makes sense. This is the last celebration before Lent when you're not really supposed to eat any of this stuff. So they just chuck it all out so that we have to deal with it and so that they don't have it. Nubby. I don't know. We're making a dent. Generic carnival treats of some kind. I have no idea what they are, but we'll open one up at the end and find out. Coconut thing. Now these look interesting. They, and there's pictures of explosions. I have no idea what they are, so we'll try them. I'm not really a fan of hard candies as a rule. Um, lollipops, hard candies, I'm just not a fan. So these will never get eaten. And yet we have a million of them. Luckily the baby's having a birthday party in a week, so maybe I can get rid of some of this stuff there. A sponge. A soccer ball pen. A soccer ball pen with no ink in it. But at least the little soccer ball is squishy and it spins. It's like a, a stress ball, but teeny. A very practical one. A bottle opener. Is it supposed to slide out like that? I have no idea why this is sliding out. I'm just going to put it back together again and pretend like I didn't figure out that it comes apart. Very useful. This is going in my diaper bag. A little um, snack cake, I guess. And then I saved the best part for last. Germany doesn't really have Halloween. Like, it's, it's kind of becoming a thing, but it's really not a thing like when we were kids in the States and growing up and going trick-or-treating. This is kind of their alternative to that. This is like Halloween in Germany. You've got the costumes, you've got the candy. So it's really about the kids. Okay, so this first float saw me with the baby on my hip and instead of throwing things at me, kind of leaned down to hand me a huge armful of these packets. Half of them fell to the ground and the other half ended up just in my arm. They're called a Hoibreuse. It's kind of like a cross between Pop Rocks and um, what do they call it? those little sticks full of sugar. You know, little paper tubes full of sugar. I cannot remember what they're called right now, but it's kind of like that, I guess. I have never tried these and I've wanted to try this for years and for some reason I just haven't. So we're going to try this at the end as well. And I have a few different flavors, so we're gonna try um, a couple of them. There are a couple other things I got from the Mainz Parade that have already been unleashed into my house and therefore I have no idea where they are. Uh, one thing that I actually can still find is this cute little hat. Um, it got thrown at my friend. She doesn't have a baby, we do, so she gave it to us. And luckily it just fits August's huge head. So that's exciting because we didn't have any kind of sun hat that fit his head right now. So that's cool. We also got um, a stuffed fish and a stuffed mouse, cat, bear. We aren't sure what it is, <laughs> but uh, a couple of stuffed animals, which was cool. So yeah. Oh yes, and finally, I don't know why I give these out at the Mines Parade, but these little sheets are basically like really thin sponges. So I got a bunch of these sponge sheets, which frankly, I think they're very practical. I will use them to clean my bathroom. So that's it for my Mainz Rosen Montag um, parade hall. And now for the Castell parade. Uh, I particularly enjoy this hall because every year I am surprised by the things I get from the Castell parade. Um, it's it's local, so it's smaller, and it's way more eclectic. 
So smaller parade that looks like a smaller haul, but give me one second because I have some other stuff that I have to go grab. As you can see, there's a lot of the same stuff, the popcorn, the candy, the chips, um, and some things that we did not see in the previous parade. So let's go over that now. Okay, so this is the haul from my local parade. So first off, you have the pretty normal, usual stuff. Um, we did get another big ball, so my son is super excited about that. Popcorn, more popcorn, chips, marshmallows, gummies, even more balls, <laughs> poppy exploding candy, more sponges. It says knusper reis, which means crispy rice, but then the ingredients say that it's wheat, so that's false advertising. Generic off-brand ring pop called Yummy Dummy. Pizza crackers. Something called Crazy Pirates. Nine packs of tissues. <laughs> These kind of look like those Valentine's hearts. Oh, instead of being printed in edible ink, they're actually stamped with little words. And the one I can see through the package says Liebe, which means love. A whole lot of hard candies that I'm never going to eat. Little um, Milka Santas, which are clearly left over from Christmas. Gummies, 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 marshmallows, gummies, candy, and empty wrappers from all the crap that we ate during the parade. So now we've gotten to the interesting part of this particular parade. Um, so the first thing, you can probably see it right here to the side. Uh, you, so we got not one, but two packages of paper towels. Like the kind that go in bathroom paper towel dispensers. I have no idea why. Little rubber duck with hair and a guitar and a and a little little campfire. I love rubber ducks. I actually collect rubber ducks. So this was actually this makes me unreasonably happy. We also got a little soccer duck because Germany just loves soccer. As you might have noticed from the soccer keychains, the soccer pen, the soccer duck. And just wait for it, there's more. We also got a, uh, oh my gosh, I didn't realize what this was. I thought it was a police duck. It's not a police duck. It's a little pilot. Look, he's got a little rolly bag. That's so cute. My, my, my son can have the other ones, but I'm keeping this one. All right, we also got some lanyards and I think this is really cool. Um, got a lanyard from a water company. And then I thought this was kind of cool. I don't know what it's from, but it is, you know, a typical lanyard, but it's got this little elastic -y bit, which I am guessing, I'm guessing this is for uh, these small wine glasses you get at some of the wine walks around here. That was some of the weird stuff. Now we start getting into the really weird stuff. A bunch of stickers like little, almost like post-it notes. Um, well, these ones are like post-it notes. And then these stickers that say, Null Alkohol, Full Power. Uh, it's from the Bundeszentrale für Gesundheitliche Aufklärung. So it's, it's basically a health organization that is apparently anti-alcohol. So I thought that was kind of weird, but you know, free stickers. So um, my husband found this while he was going through our hall uh, when we got home the first day. Um, so we have this box which has a little foam wrapped yellow, it looks like a key fob. I'm not sure what this is, I think it's some sort of alcohol wipe to make something stick better. Yeah, this is a cleaning cloth. I have no idea what that is. It's an automotive adhesion promoter, so I don't know, tell me in the comments what the heck that means. But uh, so my husband's looking at this going, what in the world is this? And I find the instructions, best I can tell, this is a key fob cover for seat automotive keys. So this, this car company right here. Don't ask me to explain because I really can't. This adorable teddy bear. It looks really cute, but something about it seemed off to me when, when my son started playing with it. And I realized that the fur almost has the feeling of like, 
the teddy bears that you've had for a million years that you just don't have the heart to throw away. And I'm looking at it going, you know, the fur is rougher than I expected and the felt on the hat is a little pilled. And then I notice the uh, tag on him is all frayed. You know, so at best, this has at least been machine wash. At worst, this is some kid's toy that his parents decided to get rid of. And so we've got a used teddy bear. Uh, you know, it's nose fuzz is all rubbed off. Maybe it was brand new and just musty, so they washed it before giving it away. I don't know, but that's just weird. Also weird, a woman handed me an entire box of these. I, I don't know if you can see it. There's kind of a glare that might work. If you can't see what it is, um, basically it's an entire box of different, I think they're teddy bears or tigers, I'm not sure, but they're like all these different little tea light holders. Random teddy bear tea light holders. I don't know if she was holding the box down so I would grab one or if she was giving me the whole box. It was all a very confusing moment, but I ended up with a box of the world's ugliest candle holders. And finally, the pièce, pièces de résistance. Not one, but two soccer clocks. Uh, one single Twix at this parade. One. I loved, no, no, two. Two Twix, one for each of us. Um, hi, hey everybody. Uh, hi, if you've been here before, welcome back. You know what, I'm gonna close the door so I stop talking so quiet. There you are. <laughs>